Hi, this is just a quick video from Zimmer and Peacock about reference electrodes. Now, often, um, if you're into sensors, biosensors, sensors, medical diagnostics, and they're electrochemical in nature, or keywords like screen printed electrodes, they'll often have a silver silver chloride um, reference electrode. And it doesn't matter what the percentage of silver silver chloride is, is it, you know, 60, 40, 90, 10? Um, they have a reference potential. Now, why do we have this reference electrode? And the reason being is, You'll often hear the term working electrode and you'll often hear the term reference electrode. And in many forms of um, biosensors and sensors and medical diagnostics, we'll be either monitoring the voltage between the working and reference, that's in the case of a potentiometric sensor, or we'll be controlling the um, potential at the working electrode versus the reference electrode. Now, what we what's not talked about very much is this reference electrode, which is often silver, silver chloride, only has a fixed potential, and it's important to have a fixed potential. It only has a fixed potential if the chloride concentration is fixed. So, in the early glucose sensors, they did have silver, silver chloride as a reference electrode, and it worked because blood often has about 0.15 molar chloride concentration in it. So that's good because it basically fixed this potential and I'm just going to sort of, I think it fixed it about 275 millivolts. Now I'm just going to rub this out and just sort of explain why now that's important. So it's important in potentiometric sensors and in amperometric sensors, let's say that that voltage is controlled. Now the problem with silver silver chloride screen printed electrodes is the voltage of the reference electrode, of the silver silver chloride reference electrode, changes as a function of chloride concentration. So the problem is, is if you're at like 0.15 molar, then you'll have a voltage that's here, about 275. Now the issue is, if that chloride concentration is not controlled, you know, you could be here, for let's say, or you could be here, and the voltage that you now have is different. And the problem with that is, if you had a potentiometric sensor, for example, and you had voltage and you were measuring it, and that's, that's your signal, and suddenly it changed like that, you might say, oh, my analyte has changed concentration. But in fact, what's happened, the chloride has changed concentration, the thing that you're not actually interested in, and it's caused a voltage change. Um, but you kind of misinterpreted it as a sort of signal change. Now let me contrast that then with the amperometric sensor. So an amperometric sensor, you often apply a kind of something like a voltage of, not often, but sometimes, 650 millivolts versus the reference electrode, AG, AGCL. But what everyone forgets is, actually there's a, you know, that's fine as long as the chloride is, concentration is defined. So again, if it's 0.15 molar, that carries on working. The problem is, again, that the voltage versus concentration of that reference electrode, again, changes as a chloride concentration. So as the chloride goes up, the voltage goes down. So it's okay as long as the chloride is fixed. But if it varies along this line, the voltage keeps changing. And so you're not applying the voltage that you think you're applying. You're either applying too much or too little. Too little could result in a decrease in current and too much could, in, could um, lead to an increase in voltage. Either way, it's an undefined, let's say, situation and it can cause you problems. Now, the reason that people don't get too worried about this is because um, in situations like a continuous glucose monitor, which sits in the interstitial fluid, they make the assumption that the chloride concentration doesn't change much. And you know, so a CGM, they, they, they assume that the chloride concentration is fairly stable. In self-monitoring blood glucose strips, they make the same assumption that the chloride doesn't change much. And that's all very fine. Um, 
but there are applications like say water testing or other bodily fluid testing where you've, you're not actually entirely certain that that is the case and so what Zimmer Peacock has done is we have our let's say working electrode and we have our reference electrode but then we print an extra layer on top of this reference electrode where the chloride concentration is fixed so then it doesn't matter if the um doesn't matter then if the um chloride concentration um changes the reference electrode um will also have a fixed potential so we have our working electrode we have our reference electrode and then we print an extra layer on top of that and that then fixes the chloride concentration so in summary the summary is this this is a um, screen printed um, electrode system. It has a silver silver chloride reference electrode. It all works perfectly fine as long as the chloride concentration is um, stable and fixed. And that will work in things like interstitial fluid and um, maybe blood. But in other situations, other bodily fluids or water, um, situations or maybe soil where the chloride concentration is not fixed then the Zimmer and Peacock has a different type of reference electrode where we have a extra print layer over the top of it and that fixes the chloride concentration so I would describe that as a true reference electrode when we print this extra layer on top as opposed to a pseudo reference electrode where you just assume the chloride is constant but in fact if that really does change then it will um, give you a error in your signal. Okay, so if you have any questions regarding reference electrodes, screen printed reference electrodes, etc., um, please contact us at Zimmer Peacock. Okay, thanks very much.